Hi guys, welcome back to another week vlog with me. I have become my worst nightmare. I've actually become my worst nightmare. If my 16 year old self heard me say that, I would punch myself in the face. Anyways, I have a parcel I'm really excited for. I'll get back to that in a minute. It is Tuesday because yesterday I didn't really do that much. Like we went to this place called Policio Lounge and the downstairs area is a bar, which I've obviously been to. But the upstairs area is like a restaurant that seems to be mistaken for a public library because there were so many students studying there. But it was quite nice. It was very cozy. And then we sat there for a couple of hours and then we went to an Indian restaurant and we got some butter chicken well i got some butter chicken for 10 pounds and it was very lovely here we are it is tuesday hello i got my hello fresh box this week there are two meals that i'm slightly scared for because i like my meals very simple very safe i'm not picky but i just like simple foods and this one is honey tremola beef i don't even know what tremola is the minced meat and the pepper it just looks slightly traumatizing for me but looking forward to that then there's like a teriyaki lemongrass beef which also looks quite nice oh this one i'm quite excited for the warm pesto uh, vegetable salad hello fresh loves their pesto like the, everything is in pesto oh this one i'm also super excited for i love risotto and then this creamy chicken linguine that i cooked yesterday was actually really good back to the box so hello fresh with their boxes gives me like tons of vouchers and discount codes and things like that and i basically got this box of beer for free and all i had to do was pay like a three pound delivery like fee and it's eight beers and i'm very excited because that's just my drinking done for like the week and plus it'd be quite fun to uh try out different beers but i swear to god if there are ipas in here i will scream i hate ipas i think they are absolutely disgusting made in cornwall there is such a strong cornish cider and ipa culture everyone here loves ciders and i do not understand oh i get like little snacks with it as well look at charlie oh are those for me are those for me no those are not for you pizzeria bites tangy cheese chickpeas that should be nice i don't usually show alcohol on my channel but technically i'm not drinking this and you have no proof that i will ever drink this but here we go we have we have an ipa yeah that's okay and we have another ipa a pale ale that could kind of work that's a hit and miss for me we have a pale ale we have an ipa pale ale oh pilsner superior pilsner that could be okay this doesn't even say what it is the bottle's quite funky. Either way, there are no lagers, but it's okay. I'll still try them and you know, it's basically free. That is very exciting. The plan for today is that it is 3.30, so the day is basically halfway done. I've been studying all day and it's nearly four and at four, Matthew and I are going to take my dog for a walk. We're gonna do that. I hope you enjoyed the video in advance. Let's go. Can I be around you for motivation? Take it down, save your time. Walking partner Charlie's finally healing because he's tired. High five! <laughs> this is how we communicate in family. <laughs> Rapunzel, Rapunzel, look down your hair. Been missing so that was a very nice walk. I think Charlie's quite tired as well. We walked like eight and a half kilometers and I was aiming for 10. Matthew needed to wait for the bus stop and we were waiting at the bus stop and I, instead of pause, I clicked end and it was a very sad time for me and my motivation at that point gave up because I just wanted it to say like, 10 kilometers on my watch and i'm quite tired i should go to the gym because i go every day apart from the weekend but the idea of going to the gym right now i should we'll see how i feel in about five minutes <laughs> it is 7 50. it took me an hour and 20 minutes to mo motivate myself to go to the gym i wish i had something motivational to say but i struggle with discipline on like a daily basis so yeah you should go because no one likes a lazy human being i usually mix in my creatine with um like a vitamin d fizzy tablet because i feel like it helps break it up a bit i'm kind of tired because at the, at the end of the cup i still have to drink this powdery thing so i've decided i'm gonna just start chugging Let's go. <laughs> Don't go to the gym. It's a scam. It's like you're meant to break up your muscle groups. But then I'm like, actually, I really feel like doing this exercise. And it could be a completely different muscle group. But I do it. And now I'm stuck with 
my whole upper body hurting. I don't know why I am the way I am. It is 10 p.m. I'm going to be making dinner now. Now it's time to eat. I am so excited for this. Just one glass in. You're already on my mind. When it gets late, I always realize that I need you. Are you thinking about me too tonight? Feelings, are you thinking about me too tonight? Mm -hmm. Your hands around my waist, just let the music play like a drug. I am hooked on you. This was the first recipe where I made some changes, so I didn't mix the leaves in. Like, they're kind of as a bottom base. I hate cooked tomatoes, so I kept it raw and I just put it on top. And that's pretty much it. Let's have a potato. Good potato. Let's have a bit of everything. Only where it changes, maybe I'll put in some chicken, because I work out a lot and I need, like, a ton of protein. But it's got sweet potatoes, it's got veggies, and it's got salad. It's really good. Hello again. So my flatmate came back. And right now we're going to go walk uh, 10k. And apparently they want to they wanna watch... Dolphins. I'm out of breath because I just ran upstairs. We're gonna go find some dolphins. Take it down. Lara's wearing her favorite binoculars. Hey, I don't know. <laughs> if you want to make it right, where do you want to call me? Say, if you release me, we've got a An hour and a half of walking and he's walking right next to me. from uni it is 3 p.m i literally had like a one hour lecture and um i just stayed and studied our library is so nice there's like windows from ceiling to floor so all the sunshine's coming in the weather is so nice look how sunny it is my boyfriend bonded with my flatmate about how they like spice or whatever and my boyfriend sent him this we tried it well i didn't try it because i didn't want to die but we'll try it like dipping a finger in and tried it and he literally turned bright red and started coughing i'll put a video up here of one of our friends trying it and they were like coughing we literally put in like half a teaspoon of this into this massive pot and it was like not massively spicy but you could like taste it it's quite nice so yeah I literally eat this chili in like buckets i spent the past hours napping with charlie on the sofa look how much space he had and look how much space I had it. I was on my shoulder and it's gone numb. Look at him. Spoiled little child, aren't you? Oh, sorry. Do you want tummy rubs? Do you want tummy rubs? Yeah. I just got a delivery and I told the guy to have a goodbye. I meant to say bye, have a good night. And instead I said, have a goodbye. That is the state that we're at today. So we started the day off pretty great. Like I went to campus quite early, had a whole study session. It was sunny. I came back at like three or 4 p.m. I was feeling great. And then womanly issues hit. I just, I was, I couldn't get up. Can we also just talk about how cramps are like the biggest scam? of our society. It's just been so normalized that when women have their monthly thing, it's completely normal to be paralyzed in pain. I follow this woman health coach. Maybe my mom sent me this, I don't remember. She made a very valid point about how if you were having such strong pains in any other part of your body, you'd go to the doctor ASAP because that would just mean that something's wrong. And I just think it's absolutely ridiculous. Anyways, it's like 6 p.m. I am in so much unbelievable pain. Like I literally feel like I'm gonna throw up. But you know what? I'll take sickness over baby any day. We're making a risotto and I can't be bothered to film everything. So I'll just show you the end result. Risotto. Ris <laughs> I will show you the end result of the risotto. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it tastes so good. And I can't believe that it's taken me so long to learn how to make risotto. I woke up this morning and just decided not to change. I look like I have mental problems. 
Hello, so this is so not what I usually wear. I love whites and like beige and color. And today I'm wearing black and dark blue, which very so obviously clash. But I woke up this morning in this t-shirt and then I usually sleep in. And yeah, that is what we went with today. I look like I'm about to go get a like rockstar boyfriend. My mom got me a stylist for Christmas. As an appointment with a stylist, she's gonna give me a whole human being. The stylist is teaching me how to style myself. I always feel awkward telling my friends, oh yeah, I'm on call with my stylist because I dress so completely average. <laughs> so being like, oh, I'm a call with my stylist and then I go out looking like this. Oh, my dad is calling me. Wow, that was one long conversation because it is now Sunday. I filmed that last bit on Friday and then Friday night happened and then I was dead to the world on Saturday because of Friday night. And then by the time I revived myself back to life, I just studied and walked like it, I wasn't doing anything special. That's another week done. I just finished cooking my last Hello Fresh meal. I made a few adaptations because the minced meat actually died two days ago. So I did it with chicken instead. I just got some chicken and yeah. I quite like doing these weekly vlogs. I get to basically just speak to myself and yeah, it's quite fun. <laughs> I am super excited for next week because um, I'm finally gonna do my driving test. I was meant to do my driving test like two years ago and then COVID happened and then COVID happened again and then I was in Singapore and then the queen decided to die, my condolences, but the funeral was on the day of my driving test and it was just, oh, it was so long. I had to move it like five times. And then next Friday, I'm finally gonna do my test. I'm so excited. And I'm just going back to London next Wednesday for a month. I'm happy, happy about that. I have very much decided that I prefer London to Falmouth. For a while, I was kind of weighing up the pros and cons and recently i'm just really not really not vibing with Falmouth. like it's just really i just don't want to be here until march because one of my friends is coming down to in march because she's been away for a while and she's coming down and i'm so excited so if you're watching this i love you i miss you please hurry up and come back okay hope you enjoyed this week yeah see you next week <laughs> Can I be around you, baby?